Hi friends, this is Saluja here. Welcome to my networking channel and today the topic I am going to discuss about BGP Confederation. So BGP Confederation is nothing but dividing an AS into a multiple sub AS. So there will be one parent AS and under parent AS I can create multiple sub AS and between the sub AS will maintain an EBGB neighbor relationship. So what is the purpose of Confederation to avoid the full mesh IBGB relationship and to prevent the loops. So what is full mesh IBGB? So here I have connected four routers so each and every router will be in mesh full mesh IBGB relationship with each other right so because as the number of BGP neighbors or number of routers increase what happen the full IBGP peerings also will increase and definitely it may result in loops to, to avoid the full mesh IBGP bearing and to prevent loops we are using this confederation so confederation is nothing but dividing an AS into multiple sub AS and to prevent the loops right and it's mainly used to avoid the full mesh neighbor relationship so now let us go to the configuration this is the architecture where i configured a parent as as is 200 so under this parent as i created two sub as that is 333 and 444 so under parent as i can create many sub as and between the sub as i have to establish a bgp neighbor relationship and this is another as this is an as in as 400 so this sub as will not be shown to the outside world so always the outside world always see this parent as right so now let us go to the configuration to understand further so now let us go to R1. Now let us configure the BGP neighbor relationship and confederation peers, right? So let us go to the configuration and router BGP 3.3, right? 333. That is the sub AS. First, you have to configure the sub AS and then BGP confederation identifies. So this identifies nothing but a parent AS. You have to specify the parent AS then bgp confederation peers so the peers is nothing but a sub as peer so this sub as peer is triple four right so triple four so then afterwards we'll configure the neighbor so neighbor is 192.168.1.2 right so 192.168.1.2 and the remote as we have to always use triple four so we have configured this from this 333 and let us go to the autonomous system number triple four so let us go to R2 router BGP triple four and now we have to configure the confederation identifier. BGP confederation identifier is nothing but a parent is that is 200 and um, sorry BGP confederation identifier. Identifier is 200 then BGP confederation peers right. So peers is nothing but a sub AS peer that is 333. So between this, we'll establish a EBGB neighbor relationship. Then we'll configure the neighbor. Neighbor is 192 1.1, right? 192.168.1.1. .1 and the remote AS is 333, right? 333. So we have configured. So after that, now I'm going to configure the outside AS, right? That is AS 400. Let us go to R3 and go to configuration mode and specify router BGB 400, right? So router BGP 400 and the neighbor is 192.168.2.1 right 192.168.2.1 and the remote is always you have to give, keep it in mind you have to give this parent is that is 200. So you configure this and here we have missed one configuration so here you have to configure this parameter right 2.2 neighbor. So go again go to configuration mode router BGP triple four and neighbor is 192.168.2.2 right 192.168.2.2 and the remote AS is 400 right now you configured all the BGP confederation parent AS identifier this is a BGP confederation identifier and this is a BGP confederation peer this is nothing but a sub AS and between these sub AS I will establish an EBGP neighbor relationship and this is an AS in outside world so do this as it will be always see this parent as so this will be hit done right sub as so under this parent as i can create many sub as mainly to avoid the full mesh neighbor relationship and to prevent the loops right so i have configured it now let us go on advertiser prefix so router bgp triple three and the network prefix is 1.1.1 and the mask will give us 225.255.255. Let's see whether you can't get the loopback address. Okay, 1.1.1. Similarly, let us go to R3 and advertise the prefix. 
so router bgp 400 and let us advertise the prefix network 3.3.3.3 and mask is 255.255.255 so i configured everything now let us check the configuration ps right show ip bgp all neighbor summary so see, uh, see we are able to see the configuration pair 192.0.1.2 and the remote is it is showing us triple four right similarly it is established configuration pair and go to r2 show ip bgp all summary so we are able to see the both the peers 1.1 and the outside peer is 2.2 we are able to see the parent as is 400 but in case of r2 we are seeing the sub a is right sub a is 333 we are able to see both the ibgp and external ebgp neighbors and similarly go to r3 and check the neighbor relationship show ip bgp all summary so this is also we are able to see 2.1 and the remote is we are seeing the parent is right that is the thing we have configured so now let us see the prefix i advertise the prefix show ip bgp that is 3.3 .3. since it is originated by the same router we are seeing 0.0, .0 as a next stop so now let us see in r2 r2 is show ip bgp 3 so we are able to see the prefix right that outside prefix that is 3.3.3 .3 .3. that is a network prefix i have advertised and the next stop i are able to see 2.2 .2. and let us go to r1 and check the prefix show ip bgp so we are able to see the prefix but it is not showing as a valid and the best route right so to change the scenario we have to use the next stop self right so already shown whenever the ebg is advertising any neighbor you have to change the attribute to next stop self so we have to go to r2 and go to configuration mode and router specific router bgp triple four and we have to change this neighbor 192 1.1 you have to make it as next stop self 1.1 and let us make it as next stop self so now you can see the advertised routes so now you can see the advertised route you are able to see right it is showing as a valid and the best route and it is showing the path also what is the path it took right 400 this path is triple four and 400 so 3.3 .3 is coming from 400 and it is triple four you are able to see that it is preparing its path right this is a path exact path it is showing uh, so this is how the bgp confederation work so let us see the so it is uh, showing as an external right since it is an outside world so from this as it is already showing as a conferred external that means confederation external it is an external as right so within a parrot as i am creating a multiple sub as to avoid the full mesh uh, bgp neighbor relationship and to prevent the loops so that is the main purpose of confederation and another thing is there that is a root reflector so that is also to avoid the full mesh ibgp relationship so that there are two scenarios to avoid full mesh one is a confederation and second thing is a root reflector which i am going to discuss in the next coming section i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day